Okay, uh, 4B, exercise 4B, which we're looking at completing the square, which continues from our quadratic topic. So we're going to try and complete the square on 8x squared plus 8x plus 7. So the trick to these is uh, to ignore the plus 7. So we're just going to leave this outside of our complete square and worry about it at the end. So to complete the square, remember we're writing things in the term of x plus um, b over 2 squared minus b over 2 squared, and that's from x squared plus bx. So it's a different way of writing x squared plus bx in this form. And if you expand this, you'll end up with this again. So we're going to half the 8, because at the moment 8 is our b, so it has to take this form here. So we're going to get x plus 4 squared minus b over 2 is 4. 4 squared is 16, so minus 16 and plus the 7. And the last step, x plus 4 squared uh, minus, uh, it's going to be minus 11, no it's not, I'm talking rubbish, minus 9, cool, uh, alright next one, next one is x squared minus 2x minus 15. So again, we're going to ignore the 15 for now, half this one and work our way through it. So we get x minus b over 2 is going to be 2 over 2, which is minus 1 squared. Take away 1 squared minus 15. So we get x minus 1 squared. Take away 16 for this one. Next one, x squared plus 6x plus 10. This again, we're going to ignore the 10 for a while. We're going to complete the square on this bit. So that becomes x plus 3 squared minus 3 squared plus 10. So x plus 3 squared minus 9 plus 10. So x plus 3 squared plus 1. Next one, question four, x squared plus 12x plus 100. Leave the 100 alone, complete the square on this bit. So x plus b over 2, b over 2 is going to be 6 squared minus b over 2 squared, which is 6 squared plus 100. So x plus 6 squared, take 36 plus 100, which is x plus 6 squared plus 64. Okay, question five, still reasonably straightforward. x squared minus 3x minus 1. So, a little bit harder because it's not an even number, we've got to deal with some fractions now. We're still going to leave the 1 on its own and only look at this bit. So, x minus b over 2 is now going to be 3 over 2. Then we're going to have to subtract 3 over 2 all squared. So 3 over 2 squared, remember square the top, square the bottom from when we did indices. So x minus 3 over 2 squared, take away 9 over 4, take away 1, um, which is going to be 13 over 4. So x minus 3 over 2 squared minus 13 over 4. So to get 13 over 4, I basically changed 1 as being 4 over 4, then subtracted 9, take 4, or minus 9, minus minus. 4 will give us minus 13. And uh, last one from 4b. x squared minus half x plus 1. So again, we've already got half, so we're going to have to half it again, which can be a bit confusing. So we get x minus, so b is a half, so b over 2 is going to be a quarter squared minus a quarter squared plus one. So square a quarter again, square the top, square the bottoms. So we get x minus one quarter squared minus a sixteenth plus one. And again, same again, we can say one is 16 over 16. So we get x minus a quarter squared minus one sixteenth plus 16 over 16. And the last step, x minus a quarter squared plus 15 
out of 16. Cool.